Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, Turquoise Dreaming. I'm so glad you're here. I am uh, doing a little, another episode of hashtag use it or lose it today. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing and what my next uh, thing I'm going to do here to use some things that have been sitting around. But first of all, I want to let you know that this journal is available. It was claimed by someone and then they decided they wanted the one I'm working on now. <laughs> Uh, you know this one right here they want this one instead so so now this one is available so it, it's, it's already in my shop for whoever would like it and uh, it's uh, you know I did a little flip through the other day plus I did a flip through before so I will uh, try to link a, a flip through under this video so you can if you didn't see the flip through you can see it but it's really pretty and it's got a nice uh, goodie pack here matching, by the way. The bag matches the letters. <laughs> Isn't that, didn't that work out well? It's got the spine here from the original, one of the original books made into, you know, one of these and made into a bookmark and some goodies in there to uh, use. And, and I did a flip through the other day, so I'm not going to do another one, but yeah, really nice journal, ready to go. Uh, and uh, there you go so today first of all uh, let me show you what I was using last week I was uh, told you about the fussy cuts from magazines and things that I had cut out and I pulled them out and I was almost just gonna throw them in the trash and then I started looking at them and I'm like these are really cool I don't want to throw these away so uh, let's see this one is the one I've been working on and as you can see I had it labeled uh, botanical right here and it is empty so what did I do with them <laughs> I will show you I uh, had started working on these I think I showed you and we might have done some together where I was uh, pulling out some and putting them on envelopes to I don't know if we started that together or not but there was some I, I think I did show you a bit of these so there were some that looked like they're from a garden uh, catalog, you know, see the catalog. And uh, I had cut out these pieces here. And it, to me, they kind of look like seed packets. They have a little picture. They have the name of the whatever is in the picture. And they have a little description over here. So uh, really kind of like seed packet like pictures so I put them all on these uh, as you could see some coin envelopes so I think those came out cute really simple way to use them but I did use them use them all and now uh, those are used up and then the rest I put I showed you there were some let's see oh yeah now I'm now I'm remembering what we did together we did these first few together right here where we put some of the pieces on these envelopes and like this. This one I think we did together. We decorated the flap there. And this one I think we might have done together. And this one. Yes. So after that I had a bunch more. And so I did all of these. I they were they were, I think I showed you they were cut out and a lot of them look like uh, postage stamps. <laughs> First of all, I have a lot of coffee dyed envelopes here that I needed to also use and do something with so let's see what is this, this is an extra coin envelope so all these I haven't decorated yet but all these I did decorate so you can see I decorated some more of the flaps here with some of the these that are flowers that were fussy cut out of some wallpaper that's what all of these are and we did these together here I remember these little circles I had in there that I had punched out from the garden magazine or catalog. Uh, I think we did that one together and that one, I think. And then the rest were kind of like, I, they were postage stamps. Some were a printable that I had one that I had cut out the, you know, printed it out and cut it out. And then uh, the others were just things that stickers and things like that. So I'm not going to show you every one. Of course, there's so many here, but just to, so you can get an idea of what I did. These were already coffee dyed, and I had them ready to go in my stash. So I put a little postage stamp on each one like this, and they're, they really turned out cute. So I'm glad I didn't throw them away. I think they're really cute. Now I can go from here on whatever I want to do next on these, right? Let's 
let's see. Got a little extra glue there. <laughs> That's from the seed catalog, it looks like. That's a little sticker. So you get the idea. There's different size envelopes here. And I just uh, pulled out the ones I wanted to put stamps on. And so they all have a little, all of these have a little stamp up in the, the right hand top corner here, like where you would put a stamp. All of these too. <laughs> so that's what was my basically my TV time this week. These were already cut out. I just had to glue them down. But there's so many. Uh, and there was another little project I did too, which I will show you now. So just to give you some ideas on if you have something like this sitting around, what you can do with it, you know, just or if it's something different, just look around and see what you can put together, you know, to uh, further your further your stash into something that you'll use. So that was that, and then I had this. I hadn't had. I haven't showed you this. I have this roll of stickers that I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago. I don't know. I think they might still have this roll. It's in the it's in the educational uh, section, I think, usually whenever I've seen it or whenever they have it. But it's little, they're like uh, travel or camping type uh, themed stickers. And it's a, quite a lot on here. And I used some with my travel uh, tags. It was, I made a little like charm out of the, this little square and added it to those travel uh, tags that I put on the bullpen. They're gone now. I had two sets of them, and I sold them in my shop. But I wanted to use up some more of these, and so I wanted to use up a lot. I still have a lot to use, as you can see. There's still quite a few rolls around that uh, center roll there. But <laughs> what I did was, this is a piece of... Um, you know, file folder, half of a file folder. I'll show you these in a second. But I thought I would, um, I stuck them all down here just kind of randomly. I think they look pretty. And I thought I would make some journaling cards. So let's cut this up and see what it looks like. Kind of like a, almost like a sticker master board, right? <laughs> so something, you know, I just like, I don't know. I was just trying to use them up. So I put as many as I could on this file folder and I might make some more. Too because it's not going to make that many, that many uh, uh, drilling cards. I want to make drilling cards like a, a little square drilling card. So I'm going to cut this edge off. Let's see, I've got my corner rounder here. Yeah. So I'm going to try to cut a straight cut right here. I, I can even cut here. So I have the same amount of like border there. And then, then I'm going to cut in between these, like three, three, if I figure three, 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 and three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so let's see how this comes out. There's one strip. So I think these are really cute. And they'd be great in a travel journal for writing space because you can write on the back and this little I'm going to have one little extra strip here which I can make into charms for more more travel tags so let's see they, they look even when I put them down but they're not exactly even now now, now that I'm going to cut it <laughs> so I'm trying to get it in the best spot here for cutting okay we're just going for it here all right, let's see how we did. Yeah, see, I can cut those up for charms. Okay, so now I'm going to cut like this. Uh, let's see. Three. Is it three? It's not going to come out even. Okay, well, I'm going to cut three. And, well, we could do this. We could do like this, a little square and a rectangle. That, I think that would be better than trying to cut three more, and then all I have is this left to two rows because that would be kind of awkward right that would be kind of an awkward little two row thing trying it could be a pocket though couldn't it if I wanted it to but I don't want it to be a pocket I want it to be ephemera so we're going to do it like this so far and then let's see we need to trim these up a little bit 
to make them even like at the top this one needs to trim off the top and then I would just round the corners to make them look more like journaling cards because you know how when you buy journaling cards in like a set like the Heidi Swap and things like that if you've ever seen those or are they Heidi Swap? Uh, whatever they whatever company makes them I think I have some over there they're made by Heidi Swap and uh, the corners are always rounded usually usually so this is this can be a uh, kind of a rectangle journaling card or it can be a tag so let's just round the corners and see if we like it just like that or do we need to do something more and then you have all this writing space on the back right and you can always make these if you say you had these for your journal you could always make these into a little tuck spot or pocket in a journal too now that they're you know ready to do something with and I think they're cute I like all the colors oh this one's upside down they say like this is a campfire and it says hot stuff s'more uh, fired up uh, in intense like you know double meaning there intense <laughs> discover stepping up with a boot so really cute really cute okay let's see let's finish these up and then I'm going to show you what's in those zipper pouches so yeah I'm just this is a use it or lose it and a craft with me kind of thing tonight I uh, didn't know I have my journal here too that I'm working on in case we run out of things to use or lose <laughs> lose or use use or lose and uh, I have my ephemera box here too so I we could pick up pick out some ephemera for the journal but we'll see if we have time for that so I think that's pretty much all the all that I want to cut off of those but yeah, I think that was worth. I did do that one night. Uh, I think I got all those stickers put down in one night on this file folder. And I was just waiting for time to bring it in here and, and do this. So here we are. Uh, okay, so let's see. Where's my little pile? I'll show you them all when they're done. I think they're really cute. And so I'm glad I used up. I think I would like to make at least one more of these and see how many. I can use up on that roll because I've had that for so long like I don't know probably for four or five years and it's been sitting in my sticker stash and I was like almost ready to just throw it in the goodwill bag all these this this roll of stickers another one another thing I was just ready to throw away but then I made this charms and then I actually was even thinking well now I'm gonna throw it away I made some charms that's enough <laughs> And I was like, no, no, I like these. They're really cute. So I did this. And I think they're, I like, I like little journaling cards. So aren't they cute? I love all the colors too. So there we go. I, I used, I used, I used them instead of losing them. Now the other two zipper pouches, let me put this down so it doesn't go crashing down. So this one says miscellaneous. And this one says travel, and there's a lot in this travel one. So let's look at this one first. And I was just looking at this before the video again, and I was like, oh, there's some cute things in here. They're from all different places and things. But see, here's a little December and a no problem. And even the word rest down there that I cut out from a magazine. And I just did this in front of the TV. Not recently, though, a long time ago, so... Uh, what we could do, see I cut out words in case I wanted words for something. Um, but, like I haven't used the words, so maybe I should lose the words. Uh, the uh, All these words right here, digging deeper, October. So maybe that's what we should do today. Go through here and figure out what am I really, what do I see myself using and not using. Like I kind of don't see myself using these words. Even though I like them, it's not like I don't like them. It's just, if I'm not going to use them, why why, why do I need to keep them, right? Only, the word only. So what do I want to use out of here? This watermelon is cute, so I don't know, though, if I'll use it. It's kind of a summary journal thing. 
I'm gonna put that in the lose pile. If you're if you're cringing, just <laughs> I'm I don't I don't like clutter, so you know I have to get rid of things sometimes. These are some little uh this it looks like a maybe a it looks like a stone formation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, so I think I need to lose that. This is like a campground. Uh, it's so, Oh, it looks like a fire pit or something. I don't know. It looks like some kind of an outside campground thing, though. So I think I'm going to lose that. Now, this I like. I don't know. It's like a, it's kind of Tim Holtzy. You know, Tim Holtzy stuff. I like it. It's just cut from a magazine. But I like it. Okay, I like that. So you kind of get the idea of things I like, right? So you saw the things I said I'm throwing out. So now you can you can help me. Now this is a little map. That's nice. I like that. This is uh, like a twig hanging on a wall that somebody made a banner out of. So yeah, nope, not keeping that. <laughs> this looks like a postage stamp, so I'll keep that for now. This right here I picked up at the beginning, and I don't know what it is exactly. So I think it's going to have to, oh, I think it's a little book. But like half of this part is like, this is part of the cover or something, or the page. And it's kind of cut off, so I don't like that. This is from Berenstein Bears. Of course, I like him. He's cute. This is from HDTV. This is from um, Country Living Magazine, where they had some... Or I think it's from a magazine where they have pictures of the other magazines. Maybe it was, I guess it was from HGTV TV magazine. I I think I got some free issues of that. I don't think I ever paid for it, but I think I at one time received some free issues. This is from a card. I just cut this off a card. You know, greeting card. Here's a little dog. That's cute. I like I like him. This little picture I like. It looks like a postage stamp too. So you can make it, even if it, that doesn't look like a postage stamp to you, to you, you can put it, I have a postmark, so I'll have to go back through those envelopes and put postmarks over all those stamps because when you put something like that in the corner of an envelope and you put that postmark over it, if you don't think it looked like a stamp before, after you put the postmark on it, then it really does look like a stamp. This is a picture of... I think it's supposed to be a picture of a book, but since I'm not even sure what it is, I'm going to lose that. This is a sack of potatoes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> the red potatoes. New potatoes. And it's like, you see the wrinkled sack there. It's like a paper sack. That's a cutout from a magazine. Kellogg's Special K. I like that. Curious George. Keeping him. This is a little... Uh, Kind of a certificate or something. It's from a magazine. My thoughts and love are with you. This is, I don't know what this is from, but it's a little quote there. Okay, a vase of flowers. I don't think that looks that good, so that's, I'm going to lose that. Okay, I didn't know we were going to be sorting. Oh, this is another book. I don't like this because it's so light and you really can't see what it is. Oh, here's a cute picture of a deer. See, that's very clear, I think. And you can see the colors, and you can see the deer right there, so I like that. Um, the word summer and good. I mean, I could use some of these in my own journal. If there's some, I might, <laughs> I don't want to go through these again. But I like this good right here. I'm going to save that for my own journal. In my own, you know, I do journal with me once in a while, if you haven't seen one look back through my channel and they usually say journal with me and uh, so I'm going to save that for my own journal because I like that the color and the, and, the, and the word they're good but the rest of these let me see if there's any other words that I could use uh, in my own journals uh, hmm I might save the months for my own journals oh with the word vibes oh good vibes <laughs> Yes, I have to save that for my own journal at least. I mean, and look at the colors, so pretty. Okay, that's, I'm gonna make a, my own, my journal with me uh, pile over here too. So you lose it pile, J my you know journals that I make you know on YouTube here, and sell in my shop pile, and then the lose it pile. So I think everything is good here now. A little flower over here. I don't know where that came from. A random. Uh, 
So that's just an escapee from my stickers or something. And then, uh, no problem. I think I'll save that for my journal with me. Uh, summer. I think I'm going to save most of the words here. Communication. Key. October. I think I'll save all the words in my own journal pile. Okay. So I do like the words. Oh, and this word only, maybe. I might need that. <laughs> okay. I just dropped the watermelon. I'll get that later. Here's a bread basket. That's cute. See, some of these I could use in a recipe journal or to decorate a recipe card or something. The word awesome. That'll go in my journal pile. My journal with me pile. This is a picture of, I think, of a painting. It doesn't look that good. So, I mean, as far as, I don't know, the way it's cut out and everything, I just cut around the lines that it was, where you know, where it was in the magazine. So I cut along the line. So it's not my cutting. It's just a kind of fuzz. I don't know, it looks kind of fuzzy and not clear. So I'm going to lose that. And this is a couple of lists. But uh, let me see if they could be anything. Uh, I don't really, these are a little bit shiny. Uh, not that these aren't shiny, but just the, I don't know, they just don't look that good to me. So I think I'm going to lose those. A little heart, I like that. Here's another picture of like a book or something, which is not clear. So that's, I'm going to lose all of those. Okay, let's see. Another book. Okay, let's do this a little faster so we can get through. This is uh, from a, I think this is from a printable that I saved that uh, I had just like this random pieces left. This is Tim Holtzy here. I like this. Another like certificate. Here's a playing card. Ace of Hearts it says. I don't really like the way that looks though. So that's going to lose. That's another book I'm going to lose. This chair. <laughs> kind of cute though. But I think I'm going to lose it. Uh, here's a, another cut out picture. That I, again, I cut along the lines. But the lines are not straight. You know what I mean? I could cut it straight. But it's just not anything that I really want to keep. Like I don't love, love, love it. And that's my criteria a lot of times. Or try to keep that criteria a lot of times got to be unique and I got to love 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 it so I don't love 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 it this I don't love 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 at all that's going to loop be lost in the garbage <laughs> good another good another good word okay look at all this I have left here goodness gracious but I want to show you why what I kept here okay this was uh like a some kind of cookies or something I'm gonna cut this heart out but I don't like the way it looks so I'm gonna lose that this is not really doing anything for me, or this, or this, another painting or book. Cup of coffee, <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't know. I don't like the lines around it. And I like these, these are pictures of doilies or something, like linens. I like that, and this, they're very vintagey looking too. I like this one, this one, not really liking how it's cut out because I cut straight light lines around and I didn't want to cut every little, you know, it's kind of scalloped on the edge, so that doesn't look so good in this one either. But this one I was able to cut out because it had squared off edges. So that one looks better. Here's another heart that I don't want. Okay, so this is good. So this is another thing you can do. Just go through and pick out the things that you really love and just I call it when I throw things out like you might say well you could use it if you really wanted to yeah I could but I'm call it I'm unburdening myself I'm unburdening myself from the burden of trying to use something I don't really want to use you know what I mean uh, I like that bread basket oh this is this I love 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 this is a stack of books isn't that pretty <laughs> I really need to do something with that. But it's just a stack of books that I cut out of a magazine. This is a stitched coffee cup. Now, I like this coffee cup. I might uh, fix it up. I cut right along the lines. There's a little bit of a point there. I might round that off, but it's 
Co hot cocoa, actually, with marshmallows in it, isn't it? This is another painting. I don't like that. This I don't like. Now this I like. It's, it just looks like a black and white picture, and I love when I find things like that. This one, too. Here's another magazine picture. Getting rid of that. Another stitched hot cocoa. And then here's some more books. Aren't those cool? I love it. I love the books. And then uh, this is a painting. This one's a little bit more clear, but I still don't love it. This one either. Well, I don't think I like the... Uh, it's hard to tell what it is. That's what I don't like about it. I was trying to figure out what I don't like about it. I don't like that one either. This looks cool. What is this? This is cut from a magazine, but it looks like a picture, doesn't it? it? Looks like a black and white picture. Of this old, like, there's a bunch of people in front of this building. Not sure. It looks almost like it looks like a courthouse or something. But I don't think it's a church. Number one. <laughs> oh, here's a kitty cat. This is from a book that I had about cats. Um. I think I'm going to get, even though I like the number one, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I like the cat. I'm like thinking about, I think I'm going to get rid of the number one. Well, I think I'll put it in my pile. <laughs> my journal with me pile. This is, says the Velveteen Rabbit. I need to put that in my bunny or get rid of it. The Velveteen Rabbit. Velveteen Rabbit. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know what that is. Here's some words, no limits, and if you don't, it says on that, oh, here's the word, perfect on this side, so I'm going to put all the words that I like over there. This is kind of unclear. I almost like it. It almost looks Tim Holtzy, but it's hard to see what it is, but this one has a little bit brighter colors on it, and I can see it better. National Grange, and it has like a cowboy in the middle or something. So I like that one. Allude, uh, uh, Avalude, Game of Birds. <laughs> uh, maybe that's an old game, and this was the box, picture of the box. Do I like it? Hmm, I think I do. Okay, these were cut from uh, mag uh, our book, children's book, so these are cool. Aren't they? Very cool. We're almost through the pile. Those are all from the book. This is from Curious George, but I really don't like this. So, parting with Curious George there. More words. The magic of words. I think I'm going to get rid of that one, but I'm going to keep the words beautiful here. The recipe box. Recipe box. December. Another December. This word. This is coffee. I'm going to put that here. Between Friends. I'll keep that over there. And here's a whole bunch that look like stamps. And they were cut from a magazine. They must have had an article about stamps. This is like a... Oh, this is a stamp. Two. Okay. So all the stamps I'm going to keep. More stamps. Oh, this is a bulldog clip. <laughs> um, do I love it? I cut it out again around the wherever it was, you know, around the picture, exactly. But I don't like, I don't like how it, it how it is, so I'm going to part with that. These, there's too many words here. Between friends, another recipe box. I did it, I think I'll keep that one. Between friends. Coffee, some more stamps. Uh, this is an old stapler. <laughs> Crazy, right? Oh, look at this. This is cute. Yeah, this was in a magazine. It's a gumball machine. An old one. A lady. Or a doll. This is from a magazine, like a children's magazine. I think it's a picture of dolls on the back. Maybe this was from that same thing. Another bulldog clip. Yeah, I don't like that one either. How, howdy and how, oh howdy they're both howdy let's put that with my journaling stuff this is from a book I think this is from the desk cover of one of those Hallmark books and that's really cute another cut out fussy cut from a book children's book it looks like Dick and Jane 
blues. I think I'll get rid of blues. Uh, I like her. I don't know what she's from. Here is a duck. <laughs> He's cute. Okay, what do we have here? A word, the word, the word reservation is going. Power, I like that. I think another like picture I can't see. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> I'm sure this is something, but I don't know what it is. So it, it's going in in the book. So we made it through the whole miscellaneous. We pared it down, and now. It will be my job to use all of these and the ones that I set aside for my own journal. And then I need to go through this one. So uh, stay tuned for another uh, Use It or Lose It where I decide to, what to do with this a bunch of uh, cutouts. And there is a bunch in there. See all those? I'll show you one. There's some cool stuff in here. A stack of, yes, I fussy cut this from a magazine and it's a stack of games. Let me get this straightened up here. See this little thing I cut out? Look at that. <laughs> Something over here on top of the, sitting on top of the box of games. It's part of a game piece or something. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. Okay, we'll go through that one next and see what's in there. And I'll see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow.